So we have been given with a quadratic polynomial over here of which we have to find the smallest value. So you see over here, this is 3a square, 27b square and minus 18ab. So can I take 3 as common out of these three things over here? If you use suppose x minus y the whole square identity over here, I'm going to get a minus 3b the whole square over here. So you see the minimum value of this term over here will be what? That will be 0 because you see this is square over here that will be 0. So basically the minimum value of the whole expression over here will be what? You can say that will be 192. So we have been given with a quadratic polynomial over here of which we have to find the smallest value. So basically over here we have to use the completing the square method. So let's do it over here. So you see over here this is 3a square, 27b square and minus 18ab. So can I take 3 as common out of these 3 things over here? So if I take 3 as common, so I will be left with a square plus 9b square minus 6ab over here and if I take this second thing you see 5c square minus 30c can I take 5 as common over here so I will be left with c square minus 6c over here plus 237 will be left as it is so basically over here if I further simplify this thing I will be getting a square plus 3b the whole square minus uh, you can write 2 into a into 3b over here. Now you see in order to complete this square over here I can basically add and subtract. You see this is nothing but c square minus 2 into c into 3 over here. So basically in order to complete this square over here I want 3 square guys. So I want 3 square. So I am writing 3 square over here. Correct? Plus 237. So what does it mean? You see, basically you are adding 5 9s are 45 as per your own wish so as to complete this square. So for that you have to subtract 45 over here, right? So that there is no violation of any law of mathematics. So basically after further simplification, if you use suppose x minus y the whole square identity over here, I'm going to get a minus 3b the whole square over here. And then I'm going to get plus 5, I'm going to get c minus 3 the whole square over here. And what you'll get over here guys, 237 minus 45. So 237 minus 45 is going to give you 192. Now you can see that we have to find the smallest value or the minimum value of this quadratic expression. So you see, the minimum value of this term over here will be what? That will be 0. Because you see this is square over here, that will be 0 and that will be when you have got a minus 3b is equal to 0, correct? In the same manner, the minimum value of this term will be 0 when c minus 3 is equal to 0. So basically, the minimum value of the whole expression over here will be what? You can say that will be 192 because the minimum value of the whole expression will happen when this is equal to 0 and this is equal to 0. So the minimum value of the given quadratic expression over here is 192. I hope this is clear to every student watching this video.